there is only one answer to this, hard work. And this is the only thing that we can do to save time, to shorten the difference between the developed in China and the developed Western countries. A returned overseas scholar, Dr. Cheng is crystal clear about why he came back and what he wants to achieve. This country need many well-trained people to build it in an ideal way. Also, we were raised up by our people. Once we feel that we can do something, really do something, I think that's the time to come back. Our mission is to develop new drugs for China and the world. In the past 50 years, China has generated by itself no more than two new drugs. And it's a very pitiful record. And uh, since the journey of WTO, we have to now consider seriously to respect intellectual properties. And so that is why now the government officials are looking at this very seriously. Probably are talking about at least uh, three to five billion RMB per drug, and nobody can guarantee whether if it, will, it will be a successful drug or not. Yet, we have to do this. So as a national center and also talent pool here, uh, we have to consider uh, starting from biochips. Anyway, it's a tool, and our major target is to towards the drug discovery. And the company wants to accelerate its growth by going public. After IPO of the company, we can have uh, much more money raised from the public. Then we can do not only our own R&D, but also some investment into other companies or purchase some of the technologies that we need. Investing in IT or biotechnology in Zhongguanzhou is more investments but huge return. And how you can achieve this return is we have the China domestic market as well as uh, international market. Because these products are exportable, they are very high quality. And then one exit strategy will be already examples like a uh, company being listed in, in the NASDAQ, in Hong Kong, in UK, even in Singapore. Zhong Quan Soon is going through essential changes. It aims to be a model base of international technical innovations and an incubation hub for its own scientific and technological achievements. The route Zhong Quan Soon is taking has made many compare it to the Silicon Valley of the United States. They are with a common goal, common uh, belief, the knowledge. The science and the technology were the, is the, were the source of wares, of the growing of wares in the society. For the past two decades, China has been creating wealth for its people by inviting foreign companies to its shores. And it's a well-known fact that companies place their production bases in China because of relatively low land and labor costs. But the country's growing affluence is likely to change the world's perception of what it can offer in the next 10 years. The emergence of China as an economic powerhouse has one important implication. Now, in the past, China has been perceived as the world's largest factory, but that is no longer true. Now, China also has the ability to do research and development. Today, we see China's ability to shoot this rocket up to the moon. Now, in addition, China has enormous domestic market. It has savings of 1.3 US trillion dollars. As China integrates into the world economy, China's prosperity is going to fuel the growth of the world economy. <laughs>